Hey guys, this is the second video, I believe, of the SETI build. Let's see. I'm back on the bridge. Let me... I had another... boredom-induced hiatus. It just happens. I just lose interest and just... take a long break. Just who I am, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, I made a lot of progress. I've been back for like three or four weeks. I feel like I made enough progress on her to make a video, so there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Anywho. There we go. That's better. Spectator, cool. So here we are in the main hangar bay. It's been fully filled out. Got a whole bunch of new modded blocks, which is nice. These are all modded. The gray is modded. I think this is all just a check texture pack. All right, let's. Where do we start? I'll start on deck two because it's being built out right now. Yeah, it's just a bridge just chilling there. I gotta move it. Starting here with the transporter room, which needs to be fixed. It has holes in it. Go. This is subject to change. I gotta do a few things on it. And change the walls, probably. Here we have some access gangways. They go all the way down to deck four. Four, I believe. No, they go down. Yeah, they go down to deck five, actually. That deck at the bottom. Okay. These are coolant things. They, they're like radiators. These rooms right here are systems for those. I'll fix that later. All the heat gets transferred to this room where it's exhausted into these radiators. This ship generates a lot of heat. Has a little airlock because it's a pretty hazardous area. There's a lot of heat, so yeah. Sorry about my mouth, it's pretty sensitive. Maybe I can fix it. That's better. Here we have some crew barracks for like military personnel. People are just here to fight because it is a attack slash escort ship. Here's some just enlisted crew quarters. Just general personnel. Along here. That's the bulk of them pretty small crew. Here's a backup turbo lift. This turbo if needed to, if the turbo lift's already been called and it's needed so I can they can just call it from here. It just sits here. They can call it from here. It goes this way and up to the bridge. There's also a turbo lift that goes straight into the transporter room. Which is pretty convenient for away missions. But if you want to go there for the corridor you can do that. I just going down and around. <sighs> I used to recording, I gotta get back in the zone. Here's the top level of the computer core. It has not been built out yet. Here's the matter injection systems. If you look down here, let me that's the computer core. Any matter injection system is down here. It's pretty vast. Just hasn't been implemented yet. Here's an anti matter storage bay with a door back here to store the pods. <laughs> There's going to be about three or four in here. 
with an injection system right here. Sorry, right here. Yeah. Most of this deck is basically that. Let's go to deck one. Not much has been done other than a turbo lift. This goes down to where you already saw. Not been implemented yet though. Here's that gangway. <laughs> I stole it from the Vesta. Sorry, Nads. Here's where the warp core goes. I haven't designed it yet, but I started it. It's, it's, it's going. Main engineering. I didn't put that there. It's hideous, but this is a power transfer conduit. It's going to be a completely different block. It leads all the way down, across, along. Oops, I got to turn off sounds. Along the impulse bay, into the impulse bay, where it connects up with the main reactors, which gets shunted out the back. Like that. This is where it goes to the meta cells. I'm sure you know how a Star Trek ship works. Here's a phaser array. Some of the systems go underneath. They're pretty powerful phasers, so there's a lot of space for them. This yellow line is a room. Here is some escape pods. Mm. Oh, I'm definitely not used to this. Okay. Here's some more enlisted crew quarters, which go to just general personnel, just like on deck two. Here is the main deuterium storage, which is really big because there's deuterium used for not just the warp core, but for impulse reactors. These are fusion reactors, I believe. I could be wrong, though. The trick craft guys will probably correct me on that. Here is a main cargo complex. <laughs> this is how you get into the shuttle bay from the corridor. <laughs> this is an airlock, I think. Could be. I don't remember what that was. Anyways, here's a, <laughs> a cargo tunnel thing that leads to the ship. So go to this one. Here is an elevator, and here is a cargo transporter right here. Here are systems for that. Here's an here's an airlock. This is the main entryway for the shuttle bay. I also might put a door right here by just extending this corridor this way. Maybe putting some environmental systems on either side because up here is the shuttle bay control room. All directly accessing this. Down here is security complex because it's a secure. It's a big ship. It's a not a big ship. It's a um, technical vessel. Here is sick bay. No, that's torpedo storage. Sorry, I'm just working on this the other day. Yeah, this is the tor torpedo launcher. Here's where the torpedoes are loaded and whatnot. And here's where they are stored. I need to connect that to the main cargo complex somehow. Yeah. <laughs> to be determined. I think that's sick bay. Yeah, that's sick bay complex. It's just a big thing. I gotta put like dividers in here. It's pretty big. I'll probably move it though. Like the security complex right here is gonna have all sorts of stuff like the brig, it's gonna have like training areas for our troops, all sorts of stuff like that. Maybe even a, a little target range for phasers. Just like what the Gany has. Here I'll show you what I'm talking about here. This has had some extensive work done on deck three.
those are all bathrooms. If you didn't realize. Very extensive work. Sorry, I'm getting lag. I think I got something open in the background. We're working on a a bridge thing here. But I gotta get rid of that because it's lagging me up. Here we go. Anyways, what I was going to show you is I don't recall what deck it was on, but here we go. Here's a security complex where we have the brig. We got base for six brigs. That's five, sorry. The little control area. Phaser range. We got four of those. And there's a briefing room, which I need to add to. With the sick bay, which is enormous, which is, yes, it's right, yeah, it's right here. I think I've shown this before. Here's main sick bay, chief medic's office. This is where all the like the bio beds go, surgical bays, surgical bays, airlocks, virology lab, bacterial lab. Quarantine airlock, or if there's just some simple quarantine, you can get there from here too. Personal protective equipment. I need the other side. Research complex. Same on the other side. I spelled that completely correctly. And we got more quarantine on the other side here. For, there's an outbreak. Mass quarantine. We got an airlock. We got environmental systems that are access to a Jeffrey's tube. More. Same here. Same here. All separated out to contain the infection. Now, the saber won't look like that. It's going to be a lot simpler. F1. <coughs> While I'm here, I'll show you some of the cool stuff that's been going on around the server. Because I'm sure you guys are wondering. Oh yeah, right here. This little this is just a, an adjacent corridor for these offices. That's an interesting touch. These are undetermined. Yeah, so is that. A lot of this is undetermined. Anywho, let's change my speed to 10. There's a Gany. Of course. Here is Queen Curie's Warp Delta. I think you've seen that before. An X. Whatever this is. The no doesn't have a name. Oh, DeSantis, I think. With I haven't seen this before. That's cool. Whichever one of you guys is doing this, leave it in the comments because I have no idea. It's hard to keep track of who's doing what. A lot of projects going on right now. You guys have seen this. Here is the Did I part oh yeah, I forgot the whole area got re repositioned and stuff. It's actually right here. There you go. Here is a Shenke. Or however you pronounce it, I don't know. 
<sighs> you with her impulse bay. This is the ship that got copied and pasted throughout the landing of Picard. This was the primary Federation fleet that came to save today with their legendary copy and paste skills and whatnot. I like it, it's an interesting design. Let me speed down a little bit. This is all, all this has been done by Creepy Robot and I think Droid helped. Could be wrong though. It's a big area. The Intrep is being done again. Here's a bridge you saw earlier. But in, three, in Minecraft 1. I might still I think it's a pretty nice looking bridge. I think I did on some of this. Get me wrong though. It's been a while. Yeah, I remember doing this. Here's an example of our modded blocks. These are modded. I think these are modded. I screwed up. I don't know where my inventory went. Whatever. It appeared. We've been working on the JJ a little bit with the impulse bay here. I did the main impulse engine, and then Pan, I think, came in. And, this is what I did, and Pan came in and updated it a little bit. It was kind of old. This is what everyone was working on yesterday, or last night, because no one here sleeps. That's mostly what we got done yesterday. Here's a brig. Khan sat here, twirling his non existent mustache. Here's an Enterprise V community build. I'll post the, dynam the, the new map link in the description. This is a huge upgrade over the existing Enterprise-E, which I think is on server somewhere. That's an old Astro build, that's not it. Oh well. I don't think it's on here. I don't feel like going over to Minecraft to find it. Here's the, uh, I think Doge's build. Uncle Doge. But he's no one that's uncle, I don't think. It's uh, Enterprise B. Or Loch Nar. No, no, Lakota, sorry. Whatever you call it. It's the B. Never mind. I'm walking on that weird, funky looking ship with the two engineering holes. He's doing an amazing job on this guy. It's huge. I think I cut a big chunk out of it and cut it in half over here. I don't know if it's there. Oh, cool. It's still over here. 
I'm just going to show you what's uh, going on. It's huge. He has been very busy. He's pretty good. Here we have some chisels and bits, or little tiles, I don't know what. Shopcraft. This is a level of detail we strive for, you know? We got a whole bunch of those. Sorry if I'm quiet, I didn't really get my levels right before I started recording. If I'm too quiet, I'll restart. Don't matter to me. I didn't even know this existed. It's another impulse engine. Don't know why it's there. It's just there. I like it. He has impulse. Not impulse. He has weird designs for. They don't even have hatches, but they are escape pods. Let's go over to the Ross, which is over here. He's got huge multi-deck escape pods in here. This is from HD Ligit. Legit. I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry, HD. He's the guy doing this one. It's a very interesting design. It's like a, a galaxy class, but not quite. It's got even got the arboretum looking thing, the big window. I love this big window. I am at 22 minutes. I'm gonna head up, sign off here pretty soon. Anywho, I will include the. Uh, we'll sign off just yet. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna include all the pertinent information we're getting online. If you want to join the team, we are definitely growing. One of the server builds came on recently got onto the front pages of Planet Minecraft, which is cool. Well, front page of the map section at least. It was on there for a couple hours. Just sitting there on the front page, which was pretty cool. Nice job, creeps. Go to. I don't think there's been much. Going. I don't even know where that ship is. This is a ship that got on there. Even though it's far from complete, I've done a few renders of it. Thanks to Joy for getting getting me the model of it. This is Discovery Refit from the 32nd century, which I just love it so much. There's some stuff I could do without, though. Like this. Like, I don't know why everything has to have gaps. But the way this one's done, I like. That's just insane looking. <laughs> There's better images on Planet Minecraft though. Sorry about the train. So yeah, I think we're gonna sign off here. Ooh, this is nice. I'm gonna find this. Oh yeah, I got a few things else I gotta show. Here's Andrew Probert. If I see, it's basically just a regular Enterprise C, but it was the original design before they made a, a less expensive model of it. Wait, that's not the proper, that's the regular C. I'm stupid. Where's the proper one? Proper one's right here. Yeah, this is the expensive one before they switched to a different one for the episode that it was oh well, the Enterprise C we see on the on screen is just 
a really simple design, super easy to make if you're a model maker. It's just a tube with a circle on top, that kind of thing. Compared to this, lots of complex shapes for just one episode, just wasn't really prudent. But I love the I love the design. It's a beautiful vessel. I always have a place in my heart. It even shows the evolution design evolution between the the B and the and the D. It's got the bulging hull of the B and the D. It's got the Enterprise D deflector and the, the Enterprise B neck with the bulging of the D and the Enterprise D nacelles with just a little bit of but a lot smaller it's a beautiful design I love it that is the warp coils which I think these are the best looking coils in the entire server Go to. We have a Titan with us, and very. Not much has been done with that. Other than, yeah, there, it's got some stuff on it. It's got some full markings. This is a community build for all of us. And then space dock. Where am I? This is queen ship. And it's pretty small, so it would fit, which is convenient. This is Earth space dock, yeah, as you see in Star Trek Online. This is our spawn, technically. This is what you'll see when you first log on. Don't ask. But yeah, be nice to Craig. Here we have a, a bunch of ships here. Yeah, um, let's go upstairs, we got offices up here, dang I keep forgetting where they are, they are in here, whose is this, yeah there's a whole bunch of new texture packs, there's a new resource pack, modded block sorry, this is doge, Everyone has a, every staff member, including myself, has the start. Yeah, this is mine. I haven't finished it yet, but it's a start. Every staff member has a little apartment that we put up here, which has a nice view of the ship down below. Anyways, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna end here. And I will see you guys later. Ciao.